and we're editing this out. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? So this video is a continuation of the last video that I did with Caitlin or kind of Australian. So go check that out first if you haven't. But we honestly had so much footage from our collab and there were so many bits and bobs that didn't make the original cut and I had so much fun filming it and there are some hilarious moments. So I guess you could call this like part two behind the scenes, whatever you want, but enjoy solely for your entertainment and mine editing this right now. Oh my goodness, everyone. Guess who I'm with? Hi. Do you guys know Caitlin? Yes, no, let us know in the comments. <laughs> the amount of people that were like, oh, do you know Kind of Australian? You know Kind of Australian? You know Kind of Australian? I was like, yes, like we're collabing guys, don't worry. <laughs> the number of guys like, have you seen Ashley Faye? Do you know that American vlogger in Hobart? Oh my God, have you met Ashley yet? Yeah, we just got lunch, catching up. Um, we're just getting set up. We're gonna do a video on each person's channel. So we're gonna switch over, but we're just getting set up and everything yes. should be very, very excited. Yeah, now that we're like kind of almost caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I've had four today. Oh, okay, I don't feel like that. <laughs> so we went to lunch and she only drinks like half of her flat white and she who's like all about coffee and I'm like, um, is, is something wrong? You didn't finish your cup of coffee? Okay, apparently you had four, so you're good to go. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I talk about it on my Instagram, but it's like, if it's a bad cup of coffee and, you know, I have, you know, there's only so much caffeine a human can take. Like, even for me, like, I have some caffeine sensitivity with, like, anxiety and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, I'd rather have a great coffee. Yeah. Like, even though I'm paying for it, like, you know, I tried it, so... I did have a couple sips and she was like, she literally took the first sip. She's like, oh, this is so good. And then she looks over to me and I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on. People from Sydney, you know what Western Sydney is like? The best coffee you can get like in my area is 7-Eleven coffee. <laughs> so yeah, like homemade barista coffee, <laughs> even if it's bad coffee, is still good coffee in my book. <laughs> I'm also used to like American Dunkin' Donuts. So oh that's yeah. Like coffee, that's like a milkshake. Yeah, literally like I, <laughs> Not, not long before I moved or left to come back here. I was like, you know what? I am in the train station. It's either Dunkin' or Starbucks. I just got like a black cold brew. She's like, this isn't amazing. This is fine. <laughs> I feel like that sums up so much of American coffee. This isn't amazing. No, this isn't amazing, but it's like fine. That's like a whole other thing is like, it's not like in the States where you're just like, oh, let me just pop by Target and get everything. Whereas like here, it's like, well, I have to go here, I have to go here, I have to go here. Mm -hmm. And then you end up going to like five places. When in the States, you could have just gone to Target and called it a day. Exactly. Or well, if you're really, really lazy, you can just get everything on Amazon. <laughs> well, everything closes by like 5 p.m. I know. Like Target closes at like five mm -hmm. in Hobart. So I literally moved into my flat at like 3.30 p.m had no bedding because I was like, I don't know what size my bed is. Had to run to Target and buy like whatever they had because it closed at five. And I was like, what is this? Oh my God. Yeah, it was quite chaotic. Okie dokie. You like literally did your intro in like one take. Now I'm like kind of anxious. I'm like, how am I going to do it in like one take? Because <laughs> I've done this intro so many times. <laughs> I'm worried it's gonna get like really heated. I feel like we saved the really good ones too for this. This is gonna be really, really interesting. We're trying guys, we promise. We'll figure it out one day, don't worry. Also, I left Hobart by the way. Everyone in the comments, yes, I'm looking at you. I left Hobart, I am in Sydney. Thank you very much. She's finally done it, you guys. It took her long enough, but she's finally done it. Finally left Hobart, oh my goodness. <laughs> Didn't know there was something so wrong with exploring where you live, but it's <laughs> Okay, we're just airing dirty laundry out in this intro. Like, I've never <laughs> had so much trouble understanding my own native language mm -hmm. moving to Australia, which is insane because, like, any international students I meet, like, I'm just like, okay, if I'm struggling, how, 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 I'm, like, so much credit, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I so. don't have a partner right now, <laughs> so don't have to deal with that one. <laughs> We'll go through your Tinder profile when we're done. <laughs> That's how I landed mine. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and we're editing this out. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna leave it. Do it. <laughs> For comedic relief. My own comedic relief. <laughs> like not even like what anyone else wants. Just 
what I want. <laughs> so we need to drag you to a Starbucks here at some point oh to God. see if they do that. <laughs> Literally my whole <laughs> my whole subscriber base is like, don't bring her to Starbucks. Like, your face just deflated like, oh, do I have to go oh to a Starbucks, God. Caitlin? <laughs> well, there was no Starbucks in Tasmania. So thankfully like we're, we're good. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get you back up out of here to like the mainland. Yeah. We'll go to Melbourne or something and find a Starbucks just to piss off anybody who lives in Melbourne. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, like you were saying when you were in Melbourne, you're like, well, I saw so many Starbucks, but I didn't really see any like cute alleyway cafes. And I was like, mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense because Melbourne mm -hmm. likes to be quite pretentious yeah. with that. <laughs> it, it, they definitely are. I remember walking by so many Starbucks and I'm like, I want an actual cup of Melbourne coffee. Why yeah. is it just you're Starbucks? You're like, you're supposed to be like the coffee capital. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, guys. I have plans to go to Melbourne. Please don't come for me. It's on my list. Yes, I know I went to Sydney first, but like it's coming. I promise. <laughs> It's on the radar. I'm saving up. Not that I need to justify myself, but I see you. I'll, I'll be there. Uh, you know the <laughs> amount of people like, why did you move to Tasmania and not Melbourne? Really? Like the amount of people like that are so confused <laughs> why I moved to Tasmania. But you moved for school. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's another thing. You can't say school because then people think yeah. I'm under 18. Uni. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It's not even college. It's uni. Yeah, because if you say school, people think you're under 18. Yeah. If you say college, people think you're like in year 11, year 12. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very strange. We're just going back to slang. We're just doing a big, big loop de loop. Yeah, it's funny <laughs> how everything kind of like relates back Rolls to us. back into the next one. Yeah. Well, let's see this next one that I have. No, this has nothing to do. Oh, good. <laughs> nothing to do with <laughs> that one. <laughs> I remember doctors in the States, some of them would actually get really offended if you used MD instead of DO at the end of their name. Because apparently, I might be, this was a little while ago, I hope I'm not mixing it up. I think an MD is a little bit less time in school or something oh, like okay. that. Than but like basically DO. one requires more years more than the other. Exactly. Oh, so interesting. Yeah, people with the DO would get kind of offended if you accidentally put MD at the end of their name. Because I used to have to work with... Um, medical experts and whatnot in mm -hmm. the legal field. Mm -hmm. So we had an expert who was very particular about making sure that D-O was how his name was properly spelled out on everything. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Or like even back to the power dynamic, just like professors will just text me. <laughs> oh my God, I can't imagine my college professor. <laughs> or like texting me being like, hey Ash, just emailed you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll check my email, but it's like 8 p.m. Well, a whole other thing is work-life balance yeah there's actually work-life balance here normally <laughs> yeah. so it was very odd even getting texted god forbid after 5 p.m but i was just like oh, oh okay or like one morning my professor just called me before a presentation i was doing just to check in she's like oh hey how are you feeling and i'm like i'm good things <laughs> that's so sweet though it was so kind but i was just like getting ready for my presentation and i was just like oh hi hi like because I'm like automatically thinking like oh my gosh what did I do wrong is everything okay like mm -hmm. I'm like flipping out and she genuinely just wanted to like check in I was like oh that's so sweet yeah you know it's more of like a friendly relationship mm -hmm. whereas like you know in the states I guess there's just more of that wall yeah. I wonder if age has something to do with it too if there's a little I've seen it's like there's a little bit more respect for anybody who's like 18 and older over here in Australia oh, really? Like from, I don't know if I've noticed that. Like from what I've seen, even people who are still pretty young or respected in like their fields or their profession or whatnot, mm -hmm. even if they're still pretty new to it, there's just this general area of respect. Like someone's I there to do that. their job, not like, oh, you're 18, you don't know what you're talking about yet. Let me talk to the manager. Let me talk to the boss. But I, feel I like really America's like that because, yeah, I, I didn't notice that now that you bring that up. I feel like, yeah, in the States, there is a lot of those kinds of experiences mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, like you don't have like that many, that much experience under your belt. Like, let me handle it. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, like we do the same job. Like we're good. Yeah. Definitely, it's okay. yeah, it's definitely a thing in the states. If you're a little bit younger and you're you in get, your first like, job, you know, looked down upon, patronized a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I hope this lighting was okay for everyone watching. It's like <laughs> kind of the sun is setting. See, like I'm because so, I was just in the states, so I'm like, oh, it's like light till like 8 p.m. You know, and then like the sun set <laughs> at like five, and I'm like, oh right, yeah. winter. Mm -hmm. Back to the seasons thing. Uh huh. But we're like halfway <laughs> through winter now. Yes. There's like light at the end of the tunnel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you just came back from the worst. So. Literally, I, I just I just came back from like 
I think I landed in New Jersey and it was like 30 Celsius and I wanted to cry. <laughs> that sounds so nice. Oh, whereas I <laughs> think that's so hot. Well, you're going to Hawaii soon, so you'll... Oh yeah. I'll you'll be, be good to I'll go. Be <laughs> Are you going to be like vlogging or anything? Yes, there will be Any Hawaii. content? There will be Hawaii vlogs if anybody wants to see a little bit of Hawaii and my Aussie partner will be with me. So Ooh, we'll see what type of culture shocks an Australian has in their very first time in America. Oh my god, wait, it's gonna be his first time? Yes, this is his first time in America. Oh my gosh, I can't excited. wait for that content. <laughs> That's gonna be so exciting. Yes. Sweet. Nice.